YouTube. Leo Shank here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is October 24th, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 161 of this year. And uh, we're still down here in Orange County, California. If you guys have checked the previous videos on the YouTube channel, you have probably realized that the saltwater fishing has been going strong. The freshwater fishing, uh, not so much, which is why in this video today, I'm going to focus a little bit more in finding out what are the freshwater species of fish, right, uh, swimming around the area. Now you see, if you just open Google Maps and you actually Google a little bit about Orange County or like the southern portion of California, you will probably come to realize that there are really not a lot of places to fish here, fresh water wise. You got your typical ponds that are like bluegill, largemouth bass ponds, right? But come on, I didn't fly five hours to come here to the west coast to catch bluegill and largemouth bass, which are species that I already have on my life list, right? In the future, maybe I will do like a trip specifically for largemouth bass and then I will do it. So instead of hitting those ponds, uh, I got some help from iDubs. He is somewhere around here. He let me know about this one particular spot that has a little creek. This place doesn't even show up on the map, right? And I thought it was really cool because cricks, you just never know, it may have some endemic species to the area, types of fish that you can only find in this area, right? It may even have some trout, who knows? I mean, I don't know, are there trout in California? So I'm going to tie on a different set of lures, bait, size hooks, and I'm just going to explore this little stream today in Southern California to see what is in it, whatever bites. So you know what, let's get our day started wow okay this water is very very clear pristine that's good that's a good sign hmm I have to say there's not a lot of access to this creek here um, there's a lot of vegetation around here everywhere but this does look like a natural California Creek I don't I don't think this is man-made at all I'm using my polarized glasses and I haven't been able to see really anything in the water yet but um, yeah, yeah, I guess we're just gonna tie on some hooks and find out if the, if anything swims in it got about right by that stump oh yeah oh yeah you see that you see that? You see that? Baby. <sighs> Leo. It came off. You lost, that was big. That was big, right? In this little creek, that dude. Was huge. But I think that was just a bluegill though. Just a bluegill? I think oh, so. Okay. But yeah, still, even fun. even if it was a bluegill, you know, that's at least something. you know there's something here. Okay. Other than micros, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick, bro. Oh, I felt that thump, bro. Yeah, that's sick, <laughs> dude. Oh, I got one. I think it's a bluegill. Yeah, I think it's just a bluegill. That's that's a bluegill. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that excited to see a bluegill here, but... Dude, that's a California bluegill. That's a California bluegill, yeah. Look, it's particularly ugly. <laughs> it's particularly chubby. Dude, it looks like me. <laughs> Check it out, huh, fellas. First fish of the day. Oh, look at that, huh? Mighty bluegill, don't even know what happened to him. Nobody probably ever fishes this spot. I mean, only the dude who's walking his dogs on the other side. <laughs> so, okay folks, at least we know that there are some fish in this little creek and uh, that it can hold right life. So that always gives me a little bit of hope when it comes to the fishing. You just know that you come to a new place and it is not like it is empty, dead devoid of life right from here onwards is really the grind to kind of see if there is anything that is endemic to this area so let me bait my hook again and catch another one that 
That's great. It's actually funny. I believe I have jinxed myself. I mentioned in the intro that I didn't want to come here and just catch bluegill or largemouth, but there is actually a big population of bluegill in this creek. I have caught so many of them <laughs> that I don't want to catch them anymore today. So I think it is about time to move places and uh, just sight fish and see if there's anything a little bit different in this place. You should see in Florida, we have these things called fire ants. Uh, I hate that. You, you, I stepped in it two, three times. They bite and they bite bad, dude. So, you know what? yeah, let's just get the hell out of here. I got it. All right. I used to watch CSI Miami. And in that show, there was this lady from the lab. Uh, her weakness was ants. Yeah. It's funny sometimes, you know, the things that you watch on TV that actually sticks to you. Hey, uh, you ain't just gonna leave that there, right? No, I just don't want to carry it. Okay. Uh, there's no trash cans around you. I'll get it on the you way. You will get it on the way out. Okay. Yeah, remind me. I will. I will. Okay. Because yeah. I would feel so bad. Oh, these are fire ants, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. No, yeah, these are fire ants. Do you guys, do you guys have fire ants in California? Uh, I don't often see them. This is sort of a weird... No, really? You're gonna pick one up, dude? I mean, I don't think they're too bad, are they? You gotta do some Coyote Peterson stuff over here? <laughs> oh yeah, man, this becomes interesting, right? Kind of mud, but not mud. Yeah. Because, I mean, it never really rains here, but this is still wet. Exactly. Very interesting. I see. It's kind of an interesting spot right there. It doesn't. You have access. You sound like a professional fishing guide now, man. <laughs> for real. For real. <laughs> and this is where you saw the micros. Yes. I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess there's room for some uh, micro fishing. You see them right there? Uh, not right now, okay. but I will eventually catch one. All right. All right. Do you think that air is going to sink? No. You sure? Yeah. That area looks 100% like it would sink. You're not going to sink there. Okay. Here, I'll, uh, I'll give you a little demo. No, 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 don't do it, dude. No, 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 don't do it. See, what did I tell you, man? I mean, I'm not, I'm not sinking, look at it. I mean, a little bit sinking. Yeah. Not too bad, man. Yeah, no, but your shoes are ruined for the day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. The struggle is real out here. Ladies and gentlemen, so as you guys can see today, I'm doing the good old waiting, eh, just without the waiters. Oh, just got some juicy California mud over here. Now, Ian and I, we did find a school of fish that was like right in front of us, and I caught one on the Tanago. I just wanted to show you guys, it is a western mosquito fish, which is the Gambusia affinis. It is the species that I added to my list just a few videos ago on the YouTube channel, right? Now, of course, we're still looking for those types of fish that are endemic to this area, but sadly, nothing yet. Well, you know, we're going to walk down the path a little bit and see what happens. I see you are getting comfortable with the gear over there, huh, bro? Hell yeah. Yeah, I got the Under Armour bag on. You look like a fisherman now. Yeah, look at me. I got yeah. my uh, sheep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see that. Oh cool, huh? uh, yes, you do it a little bit too well, as a matter of fact. <laughs> no proficient. There's something on here. You've got to be kidding me! Another bluegill. Oh my goodness gracious! How? There are so many bluegill in this place, and there's nothing else. Bluegill and western mosquito fish. I'm starting, I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. I'm not going to lie, folks. There should be plenty of endemic oh, oh, species, but, well, anyways, you know, any, any new species that comes easy, or that's how it should be. Wow, that's different. 
That's different. That's different. That's different. You've got to be kidding me, bro. No way. Did I really jinx myself during the intro today? What is going on here? There's bass in this place. This is a little, just a little large mouth bass all the way here on the west coast. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, you can call me. You can call me Bass Master, boy. What? I got a large mouth bass <laughs> in a little puddle here, man. What the f Tiny little large mouth bass. That's, That's crazy. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's great. I really jinxed myself, man. While I was shooting the intro today, I was like, you know, didn't come to California to just catch bluegill and bass. <laughs> All I'm catching today, I caught maybe like four or five bluegill from this pool. Yeah. I haven't seen any shiners swimming. How did it look up there? Uh, there's another pond that's about as big as the one down here. I see. I was, it was only crayfish. Only crayfish. Mosquito fish. That's maybe it. mosquito fish. I see. Nothing. I'll stay here maybe for another 10 minutes right. and then I guess we'll move to the bridge. Cool. Yeah, something like that. Oh wow. Big bluegill. Goodness gracious. Holy macaroni, dude. My goodness. I don't know about endemic species, but Will you look at the size of this bluegill that just came out from this tiny little creek? Oh man, that's a jumbo. Holy cow, legit the idea of a bluegill this big right here coming out from this little creek is quite fascinating. I mean, this creek can actually sustain a bluegill like that. They must be coming from somewhere. Okay, I just run the I just run the inline spinner, we run the trout magnet, didn't get a single hit. I guess we're going to move to the bridge area and then just explore a little bit over there and call it a day. Yeah. You you how's your dump going over there, dude? Oh, it's good, man. Oh Sorry. yeah, dude. Just make sure you cover with the mud, yeah? Oh, you got one! He's like in the process of Oh, dying. hell yeah, dude! So, do you know what a species of crawfish that is? No. But it's, do you know if it's native to California? No clue. It's got red claws, huh? Yeah. I That's think pretty he, cool. I think he's on his way out. This is actually pretty intense. For the past 35 minutes or so, I have been trying to catch these shiners right over here. I don't even know if you guys can see it or not. I'll try to point it out in the water. Where my split shot is at, there are three little tiny shiners over there that are not western mosquito fish. But the thing is, they just, they don't even look at the worm. That's how bad it is, you know. So, I've been trying to catch them to no success. I don't know what they are. I just know that probably I don't have it on my species list yet. Ah, I got like 15 minutes left, so I'll try to catch one. Well, folks, it is 12.23 right now. It is time for some lunch. And uh, you guys know I like to keep it real here on this YouTube channel. Right now, at this exact moment, I am very, very frustrated. Let me tell you something. As a micro fisherman or just a multi-species angler or life lister, there's nothing, nothing more frustrating then when you see the fish and you don't, you know you don't have that species yet and you just can't catch it. I mean, I don't know exactly what those fish were. They were sucking the sand on the bottom. So it kind of makes me think maybe it is some type of sucker type fish. And sadly, I mean, we explored this place today. We, we were not able to find any other endemic species of fish to this area, right? Just bluegill western mosquito fish <coughs> and large a large mouth bass well i would like to use this opportunity to actually thank idubs he's kind of chilling over there 
at the back. <laughs> I thank my micro fishing guide for the day for all his knowledge and expertise. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! You didn't even fish today, bro. It was, it was more of a joy to watch you. Okay, I appreciate it. He said it was more a joy to watch me if you guys didn't heard it. So yeah, um, I guess we're gonna finish the fresh water over here. I'm gonna do some more saltwater fishing sessions here in California. They have been more productive when it comes to species, right? Um, one thing that I didn't really add on the YouTube channel yet, I didn't really film, is that last night that I actually went back to the evil pier, as I refer. You guys will see that in the YouTube upcoming YouTube video. And I ended up catching a new species again. Uh, it was the basket weaver cusk eel so you know i mean california trip overall is going well all right folks this is it for this video if you are a freshwater aficionado i am very very sorry that uh you know that things didn't work out so well in this video i am kind of a neophyte when it comes to the streams here in california my first ever time fishing a stream in california right at least we didn't get skunked so there you have it tight lines and i will see you all next time and you know this is just food for thought but uh next year great things are happening and if you uh if you have free time oh yes that's it trash that's out that's it trash out you guys see i dubs does not litter so you guys better not litter too. Sometimes I spit gum outside of my car door window. <laughs> Man, don't say things like that. Kids, remember, sometimes you are what you drop. Trash. So don't do it. Don't do it. Clean up after yourselves. Little Salema. Very nice. I guess in the end it was a good decision to come all the way here to the end and actually tie it on a sabiki. New species. It's new species. Up, you ready? Hell yeah, dude. This is the haul of the day. Oh my uh, goodness, dude. Right here. Bro, this is some Team Galati stuff. Just instead of dead, it's alive. Yep. Wow, that's awesome, dude. That's all right, you know what? Yeah, let's do let's do the release over here, man. Let's grab a few. Okay. And I'll dump the rest, but we got this <sighs> piece here. Yeah.